<clears throat> Hello everybody, have you ever wanted to experience 0G but NASA already told you that you couldn't get in? <clears throat> what if I told you I can show you using this water bottle? Okay, not this one, maybe another one. Okay, let's get straight to it. The reason things seem to float around in space, like the astronauts or this cat, it's not because they're in the middle of space and there's no gravity. It's because they're all in free fall. Free fall means that you fall freely. Captain Obvious! Let's say you get put in a box, right? It's just you in a box. And then they drop you off, like really high from an airplane. Then, while you're falling, the box and yourself, you're gonna be falling at the same rate. So you're just gonna be like, floating around, woo! So, if you're in the box, right, and then you have this water bottle, since it's like just floating around, if you poke a hole in it, the water's not gonna drain, it's just gonna stay in the bottle. And that's exactly what we're gonna see. So, let's go over to my friend's house. You have no friends! Let's go over to Nick's house. I just needed his backyard. And check that out. It's cold outside, so... Uh, I'm here with my friend Nick today, and we're doing some really, really cool science. I mean, not that cool. We're really just dropping water bottles. Thanks, Nick. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, today what we're doing, if you can see, Nick has some pretty hydrated smurfs over here in his hand. <laughs> Excuse me? We poke some holes into it, we stabbed it to death. Stop, 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 stop. And there's holes in the side. So if Nick, you turn it right now upside down, it's gonna drain, right? Because well like it's water and it's going down. But what happens when we throw that in free fall and let it go? As soon as you let it go, since it's in free fall and the bottle and the water are accelerating at the same rate, then the water is gonna stop draining. So Nick, do the honors. Oh, that was sick. Okay, cool. Okay, a lot of smart people have done this experiment. You can see it everywhere. And it's, it's really interesting. However, I think there's a more powerful demonstration than you can do. Since free fall is independent of initial velocity, you can throw it, and then as soon as you let go, it's still gonna stop draining, no matter what direction. So, if I throw it up, it still can stop draining, and that I find so amazing. So, let's go frame by frame, and check it out. As you can see here, Nick is throwing it up, and then as soon as he lets go, you can see where the water stops draining. What? Even though the water bottle is going up, it's still in free fall. Even though it's going up, it's still in free fall, and it doesn't drain. I find that amazing. I don't know about you. Like, what? Okay, I can see you being right there. This is useless, Josie, blah, 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 right? Whatever. If you want to do research in zero G, you have limited options. You can't send it up to the ISS, because that's expensive. And then you can also use the Vomit Comet, I don't know if you've heard of it, where you like go on a plane and just go up and down, and nobody wants that. It's not like somebody's gonna build like a 50 meter tall tower, vacuum it off, and throw things up and down. That's illogical, right? Well, no it's not, because that's exactly what a team in Berlin did. <laughs> Legit, they built, they built a 50 meter tall tower, vacuumed it out, put a capsule inside, and throw it up and down for around to get around 10 seconds of zero gravity and people pay a lot of money to do the research there that is one of the reasons I love the engineering and scientific minds because I can clearly imagine what it was like to start have the conversation to start that tower if you can't imagine it don't worry I made a little sketch all by myself you have no friends Okay, here it goes. Yo! 
I had this amazing idea. You know how people need zero G research? Well, what happens if we build a tower and like shoot things up and down? That's zero G. That's free fall, right? Couldn't that work? So like, ah, I don't know, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna have to be a really, really tall, tall tower. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Yeah. I can build a tower that high. Okay, fine, but like, you're gonna have to like vacuum it off so like there's no air resistance, you know that, right? And then that's not, that's not gonna work. Okay, fine. Let's say you can build tower and you can have it a, a complete vacuum. No, I, I can't hear you. The vacuum is on. How, like if you throw it up, how are you going to catch a capsule, like it's going to go up and then come down, it's going to come down really quickly, how, how are you going to catch it? Really? Using rice? You're going to catch it using rice. Okay, fine, not rice, but little plastic pellets, you know? That would work too. Okay, fine. Let's say you build a tower, you vacuum it off, you catch a capsule using rice or plastic pellets, whatever you said, right? Then who's gonna who's gonna pay you, man? Like legit, where are you gonna where are you gonna get paid? I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Okay guys, first of all, I was not exaggerating about the capsule going up and down and getting to plastic pellets. If you want to see it for yourself, Tom Scott went to the actual tower and filmed some really cool things. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can click it and actually see it. But anyways, if you're not watching the Tom Scott video, here, there's a couple more videos that I've done. Here, we, And then, my phrase to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you guys left. I hope you guys learned. See you next time. It looks like it looks like a clown died right there. <laughs>